Sergeant at Arms is derived from the Latin word servian, which means servant. Characteristics and traits the Sergeant at Arms should have. 1. Assertiveness. 2. Ability to meet and develop confidence in people. 3. Ability to exercise judgment and prudence in handling difficult situations. 4. Initiative in supporting job requirements. Description of job accountability and responsibilities and setup of meeting room. The sergeant at arms should be the first officer to arrive at the scheduled meeting faculty. The sergeant at arms is responsible for the room and physical facilities for the meeting. He must set them up properly in compliance with the meeting special as he prescribed by the presiding officer. He should meet guests or visitors and introduce them to other members. He needs to determine that those present for meetings are authorized according to the bylaws, rituals, or decisions of the presiding officer. The sergeant at arms is responsible for and must maintain the order of business meetings in conjunction with the presiding officer. The sergeant at arms needs to lead in the Pledge of Allegiance. He should attend to any other special items required for the meeting for guest speakers or for any other form of program. He is to follow any directions by the presiding officer. During the meeting, he is to take action when required to restore order. He should ensure that there is no extraneous talking or activity which is disruptive to the meeting. By initiative to direction, the sergeant at arms may be required to caution and or remove any disruptive persons or other factors during the course of a meeting. He needs to be assertive yet courteous in maintaining order. In most instances, a simple and quiet reminder to those who may be disruptive is sufficient. It is the sergeant at arms' responsibility to make sure that any necessary cleanup and policing following a meeting is done properly. If such cleanup is required, he may designate members to the task, but must take responsibility for leaving the faculties in the proper manner. The sergeant at arms reports directly to the commandant and the organization structure and needs to be attentive to direction from the commandant or presiding officer to carry out plans, both immediate and long term. This direction may be in the form of instructions received during the course of a meeting, in which immediate action may need to be taken. The surgeon is allowed to vote with the rest of the people. <laughs> <laughs> and here's a little history. <clears throat> James Mathers was the first surgeon at arms. He was born in Ireland and migrated with his family just before the Revolutionary War. He married Mary Maxwell and had a daughter named Eva. He joined the Continental Army in the beginning of that war. He lived through it, leaving with a major wound. After the war, he found employment as a clerk with the Continental Congress. Throughout the 1780s, the Continental Congress moved from one major city to another, finally settling in New York in 1785. Mathers was elected by the Continental Congress to be a principal doorkeeper. Those duties were assumed on May 15, 1788, just as the Congress was about to go out of existence. It was an important post for the legislature that intended for the meetings to be held secretly, which, is deprived, which was deprived from both the Continental Congress and the Constitutional Convention of 1787. In 1794, after receiving much unwelcome criticism for its closed session policy, the Senator decided that as soon as a gallery could be come constructed, they would open their doors. When it did, James Mathers assumed responsibility for keeping order among visitors. Thirty years later, the senator was planning its first impeachment trial, and members realized that they needed an officer with police powers necessary to arrest those who to appear before a proceeding. One of the uncooperative parties was the former Tennessee senator, William Blounts. The job was created by the senator on February 5, 1798. Mathers had failed to retrieve William Blount, so the trial went on without him. In 1800, the senator moved to Washington, D.C. Mathers helped with the shipment of its furnishings and papers. He helped establish the new quarters in the Senate's Capitol Wing and remained on the job until his death. He died by tripping down his cellar stairs and breaking his ankle. Complications made it a fatal accident. 
No one since the 17th century has come close to being a sergeant at arms for as long as he has. Mount Dory Bailey was the second sergeant at arms. Sergeant at arms was modeled from the similar post in the House of Representatives in British Parliament. <laughs> Uh, very good. Also, the, the sergeant armed here for the Republic is in charge of the Rangers. Uh, he is the lead uh, for the Rangers and uh, is commanded by the governor uh, of, the, of the state for that Ranger group. So he's also in charge of uh, security for the governor and for his staff. So thank you. Thank you.